Graham Hill Elementary. Thank you guys so much for following along the Beyond 72 World Record Project. Uh, I appreciate you sending in some great questions for me, and uh, you guys are our school spotlight this week, so I wanted to answer a few of your questions. One question you guys had was, why do climbers need oxygen on mountains? And the reason that is, is as we get higher and higher altitude, there's actually less oxygen that our bodies can absorb and breathe in. And so it gets harder and harder and harder to breathe. So on some mountains, if you go up slowly, your body can adjust. It's called acclimatizing. And eventually you're able to breathe better even when there's thin air. Uh, however, on a mountain like Everest, Everest is so tall, 29,000 feet, that that's about the same height that an airplane flies at. And so all the way up there, there's so little oxygen that it's really hard to breathe, even if your body is very prepared and ready. And so oftentimes climbers, including myself, when I get to Everest, bring with them supplemental oxygen, almost like if you've seen a scuba diver wearing an oxygen mask, doing that to help them breathe better up high. Did I see any penguins? Unfortunately, I was just in Antarctica where there are tons of penguins, but all the penguins are on the coast. Uh, and so I was going to the South Pole, which is in the middle of the continent, so inland uh, there are no penguins because the penguins need to be near water to, uh, to feed and stuff like that. I am aiming to break a world record uh, with this project, so hopefully, if I'm successful, I will be in the world record book. Speaking of the poles, you guys were wondering how cold it was when you're there, so on average when I was there, it was minus 30 degrees which is very, very cold. And then when the wind kicks up, so when I was on the top of Mount Vincent or I was at the pole, the wind started blowing about 20, 30 miles per hour, and that makes for a wind chill of minus 60 or minus 70. So it's extremely cold. If you don't have gloves on your hands or your face isn't covered for even one second, you can get frostbite. So you have to be very careful when it's that cold. When did I start climbing mountains? Well, I started climbing mountains uh, when I was pretty young. So growing up uh, around Portland, Oregon, uh, my parents always took me camping and hiking and just climbing little mountains and then eventually as I got a little bit older and I was a teenager, uh, I was able to climb some of the, the bigger mountains in the area, South Sister and Three Finger Jack and Mount Hood, some of the bigger mountains in the Cascades and then from there my passion just grew so I've every chance I've gotten, either inside the United States or when I've been traveling, I've been trying to climb mountains but it all started when I was a young kid. Am I going to meet Santa? Well, I haven't met Santa yet, um, but you know, I am going to the North Pole in April, so uh, fingers crossed, we'll see. Um, is there a message you want me to take you there for him? <laughs> um, last question you guys had, one of the last questions was, am I scared of falling? So, of course, up on mountains, it's all, you know, you can slip, you can fall, but we take as many safety measures as possible uh, to make sure that doesn't happen, including oftentimes I'm carrying a rope with me or I'm tied to the mountain to secure me. So even if I do slip and fall, the rope will catch me to make sure that I don't get hurt. Thank you guys so much for your questions. Uh, lastly, I'm uh, halfway through the project right now. So there was actually five uh, mountains that I've climbed so far, one of the poles and four mountains actually, so five expeditions. And uh, I've got five more remaining. So by the numbers, I'm halfway done. But the expeditions that I have coming up, particularly Mount Everest and Denali, are really long and challenging expeditions. So I'm not quite halfway there in terms of what the full journey will entail. But thank you guys so much for following along. And it was so fun for me uh, when I got your messages, uh, that, your questions, that you guys also each individually included a goal, uh, goals that you guys wanted to. Uh, so I wanted to read just a couple of those because uh, they were so great. And... Uh, uh, my goal is to bike for 20 minutes. My goal is to visit every continent. I want to be on time at school every day. I want to go backpacking overnight for two nights. I want to bike to school every day for the rest of the year. Um, my goal is to go outside every day. Every single one of those goals you guys sent me are so wonderful because this is all about dreaming big. Big or small, setting yourself goals is so powerful and that's really how I've gotten here uh, to be able to set a world record. So thank you guys so much for following along the journey and uh, I look forward to hearing more questions from you guys as I go. Bye for now.